Hey guys, it's Jeff. So in today's video, I want to talk about some new innovative products that have recently come to my attention and I just wanted to bring them to you coming up. Hey guys, I'm back. So in today's you know market, AR-15 market, there's not a lot of innovation going on. I mean, just about everything that's been produced is being produced by everybody. And so when you see something new come out, you know it's always interesting to see innovation occurring in the in the saturated marketplace that is the AR-15 market or just the modern sporting rifle market in general. And so today I've got a couple of products I want to bring to your attention uh, by a company called X2 Dev Group. Uh, and there, I'll have their URL in the link below or maybe the pinned comment. Um, but they're a company out of Utah that's making some interesting items. And I've got a couple of them on the table here. So the items that we have on the table today are a charging handle and a muzzle device. And they've updated the product and I'll show you here in a minute. But let's start with this guy right here. This is their AR-15 charging handle. They make one for the AR-10 as well. And I'll just cover their uh, features off of their card here. Combat derived ambi charging handle, laterally inverted levers plus ra radial geometry, uh, which dramatically reduces the chances of unlatching from snagging on gear when carrier locked back. No stress on lever pivot, pins eliminating breakage. Mechanical hard stops eliminates lateral stress on charging handle shaft, no bent or broken shafts. Uh, linear, linear operating forces, uh, smoother operation, no binding, non interruptible or interoperable levers, less operating forces required. Winged levers, provides perfect indexing, works with repelling and other heavy gloves. 7075 T6 aluminum, 100% CNC machine, type three hard coat anodized, Cerakote if required, standard and custom color options, AR-15 and AR-10 models, works in all standard AR-15, AR-10, rear charging uppers. And here's a little picture of their uh, exploded diagram of how it's working. And this is the rest of the packaging material. So this is the guy right here. The Jackal AR-15 charging handle. And the first thing you'll notice is there's not a lever back here, right? So it's, this is all solid. This is all a hard piece right here. Everything is pushed forward of the charging handle and it is ambidextrous. So you can get to it from either side. And I'll show some video here of it uh, in action at the range. And so you can see this is a pretty interesting design. So if you know you're concerned about snagging this guy, you know catching it on the outside of your gear or something if you're operating out of a vehicle, I don't do that, but if that's something that is is uh, important to you, this may be the kind of product you're looking for. Innovative design Thinking outside of the box, I really like that. And whenever I see this kind of thing, I, I want to bring it to you guys just so you're aware of it, aware of these options in case they're something that you want to look for. So that's the Jackal. Now, another interesting device, and I talked about it a minute ago, is the VF18X2, right? So this is the first version that came out. This is the original uh, design that had the uh, ventilation with these Venturi ports here, I don't know how well you can see that on camera, but they're almost like Venturi ports. You can see down through the front where each one of these vents forward and they're angled. And I'll show a, a blown up cutaway of this uh, right here, but you can see here, it's an interesting muzzle device. This is my, uh, this is my home defense rifle. This is the grab in the middle of the night gun. You can see it's set up. And I like this muzzle brake because if, if you ever take you know your guns to the uh, 
into an indoor shooting range, one of the things you notice really quickly is that recoil, that, that repercussion from the explosion of your rounds. Well, this pushes all of those gases and that sound, that report forward, so it doesn't blow your eardrums out. Uh, if that's something that you do, you're looking for a range gun or something along those lines, maybe an indoor gun where you know, you're worried about the sound uh, rupturing your eardrums um, because of the high pressure forces on your ears, this may be something you want to consider. It's something I've run on my gun. It works very well for the advertised purpose. So I'm just going to show you that's the original. And then here's the newer version. So you can see if you compare the original to the newer version, you can see that it is significantly smaller. Uh, I don't know how, that, how well that's showing up in scale on the camera there, but it is quite a bit smaller and it does work just as well as the original. Um, I've got video of this guy as well. Um, so let me just let me just walk through the uh, specifications of this guy real quick and then I'll wrap up the video. So the only muzzle brake designed to utilize complex flow principles to achieve a true multifunctional muzzle brake uh, used by Joint Special Operations Command Units. Muzzle brake effectively reduces recoil, blast diverted, lowers blast pressure and directs it forward, flash suppressor, highly efficient muzzle flash reduction, compensators, symmetrical design keeps muzzle stable, accuracy enhancement diverts up to 90% of the gases off the bore line reducing bullet turbulence, shooter safety helps, helps protect shooter and bystanders from harmful blast overpressure. Direct thread, half by 28, comes in calibers 223, 556, half by 28, comes in 243 and 6 millimeter, 58 by 24, comes in 264 and 6.5 six and millimeter, uh, 58 by 24, comes in 308 and 762, 58 by 24, and it comes in 9 millimeter AR. Uh, one half by 28 as well. So anyway, nice little addition. If you're looking for a compensated uh, muzzle device, uh, blast diverter, flash suppressor, compensator, muzzle brake, all in one, this is something worth looking at. Again, I'll have links in the description below. Also have it if I have to in the pinned comment. Um, so that's it for this one, guys. This is a quick little video done. You guys have seen this one before. This is the Palmetto State Armory. Anyway, quick little video on this, guys bringing you some innovative products in the gun industry. Wanted to make sure that you guys are aware that these are out there. Check me out on my other social media. You can follow me on my MeWe page where I'm posting uh, excellent deals in the gun industry. If you're looking to save a few bucks, follow me on MeWe. Again, link in the description. And then I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, you know, all the other social media sites as well. And until next time, guys, stay safe, stay vigilant, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.